What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Arc for you guys today. Today guys, we're taking a look at the Caprosuchus. Now, he currently just died to a bunch of beavers over there because um, he picked the fight with the wrong dudes, but this guy is found pretty much on every map, bar Scorched Earth. No, they're found on Scorched Earth, bar Aberration. So they're found on the island, the center, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, Extinction, Valgiro, Genesis Part 1, and the Crystal Isles. Now, when these guys are seeing you, like they are very aggressive. They will try to leap at you, try to munch you, and they will try to kill you. Now, they have the capacity to knock you off your own tames and like run away with you. Like, no lie, they will try to kill you. Um, and I'll chuck up a list of all those creatures that this guy can actually grab you off just on the video overlay. So you can see there that quite a few of these creatures, the Capro can knock you off. Iguanodons, Trikes, your own Capro, Thylacolios, all that sort of stuff. So you do need to be careful when you're going about trying to tame these guys up. They aren't bowlerable either, so you will struggle to tame them, um, unless you've got like sort of a trap set up. Um, but what you can do as well is you can bring a flyer along and uh, try and get to a high vantage point like we're currently doing and just trying to snipe it from a distance. Excuse me, Scorpion, sir, you're ruining the video. You can see there he's coming back at us. You can run on foot away from these guys, but you'll generally struggle to get away from them just because of um, how fast they can run and because of their massive leap attack that um, enables them to grab you. So you will need to be a bit careful. If you are looking for a trap, a simple one by one will do. So all you would need for that is a single stone foundation, four door frames, um, and that's it, and a ramp. So that will fit your Capro in there and uh, it'll do the job of enabling you to tame it. So let's just get this laid down real quick and I'll show you guys. So guys, this is what the trap looks like. You can simply run in and it'll fall in just like that. Really easy trap to make. You can make it out of wood. These guys should not break out of wood. They will obviously damage it, but they should not break out of it. Once you've got it in there, all you need to do is simply knock it out. It's a basic knockout tame. Um, you can't passive tame it. I would recommend a long neck because it will enable you to knock it out quicker. Um, another method that you could use is you could also just let yourself get grabbed by it, depending on what level it is. So, for example, we're going to turn this off real quick. We do have some flak armor on. If he grabs us, we can simply take... Oh my god. We can tank the damage... We're probably going to die from fall damage here. No. We can tank the damage that this guy deals based on your armor. So you can see we're at about half health. Um, and it looks like this guy is actually going to kill us here. Let's just do that real quick. If you have a good set of flak armor, obviously this is just primitive. You can actually just tank through the damage and eventually when its torpor starts getting high enough, it will drop you and actually run away. So you have that method as well. You can see here it's running away um, and it's not attacking us. And we're just going along for a little bit of a ride with it. Um, and eventually we will knock it out because, you know, it can't really go anywhere. We're attached to it because it decided to grab us. So it's an easy way to do it. You can just tank through the damage if you've got a decent set of armor. Or you can have a tribe mate with you and um, have them helping you so that you act as the bait. Um, and then they can just trank it while it's running around with you. However, it is a little bit difficult to try and hit the bloody thing sometimes. You can see there we wasted about three shots trying to hit it. Once it's knocked out though, you will get dropped and it's torpor, uh, sorry, it doesn't have an oxygen bar, so it won't drown if you knock it in water. Once you've got it knocked out, feed it some mudden. If you have access to its kibble, which is the uh, simple kibble, I believe, the blue one, oh no, sorry, regular kibble. Regular kibble, uh, you can feed it regular kibble, but raw mudden will do the job just as well. Simple kibble, uh, regular kibble will just cause it to tame up faster. So tame that guy up. Once you've got it tamed up, it's a pretty solid tame. Its saddle is level 39, relatively cheap. Um, a little bit of chitin, a little bit of fiber, and a little bit of hide. You can then use this guy very aggressively, and you can actually pull off other plays. You can also pick up your own dinos or other wild dinos. So, you know, I'll chuck up the list of dinos that he can pick up, but we're talking about Bezel Bufos, Compies, Dillos, Dodos, Feroxes, even the large Feroxes. Uh, most Chopsers, Overses, Packies, Trudons, Terrorbirds, Scorpions, Pelovias, Hyenodons. Uh, it can also grab flying creatures, so Microraptors, Gas Bags, Onyx, all that sort of stuff, which is really good. You can then also use it in PvP to actually pull off other players off their teams. So, you know, if you've got someone riding around on a medium-sized team, like the ones that we chucked up at the beginning of the video, you can use, those, you can use the Capro to actually pull him off. Uh, which will be really good for you. But these guys are all around really solid teams. They're not as strong as, say, the Sarko, but uh, that secondary attack that they have really opens up a lot of options for you 
to uh, deal out a lot of damage. So let's whack the saddle on him, take him for a bit of a spin. Like I said, you can take him in the ocean, in the water. He has no oxygen meter, so he won't actually lose oxygen. Um, he does have his grappling attack, which is actually his secondary attack. And it's a bit of a leap. So you can get quite a bit of distance with that attack, which is really good. Um, you don't have access to this attack in the water, however. Yes, you do. Sorry, I stand corrected. You can use it to actually leap through the water. So if you've got someone in the water that you want to get, you can simply use this ability to grab them midair and pull them off whatever mount there are. Or if they're just running around, you can do that too with them. So yeah, you can definitely use this to traverse the terrain as well. It makes them getting around really easy because, you know, you're obviously able to cover quite a bit of a distance with that. Um, they have a primary attack, which is just a normal bite. And then they have a tertiary attack, which is used using the C button. So it's really great to use this guy. I really enjoy him. You can see there that if you want to not pounce, you can use C to pick up the tank and then you can maul it to death. If you want a bit of distance, you can use the secondary attack, and if the tame does survive getting hit by you, you will pick it up. So it's a really good tame to get. You can take it swamping, you can take it to underwater caves. However, I wouldn't really recommend it uh, because it's not the fastest underwater tame. Obviously, you can level it up if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, the Capro is definitely one of those tames that uh, I think everyone should tame once. Um, do be careful when trying to tame them, though, because they will generally be found in packs. So you will need to be careful about that. But guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.